real nigga, I'm the real nigga, I'm the real nigga, I'm the why is it that a rich man would sooner change a broke woman's life, but a rich woman is less likely to give a broke man a chance? Because men like to have the power to uplift and feel like they're doing, I guess, like justice to the woman versus a woman is like, I don't need to, I guess... You know what I'm trying to say? Kind of. I wouldn't necessarily agree with the second part of that question because I honestly think it's more of a societal stigma where society just kind of like says that women have a problem being with a man of a certain financial, you know, status. I, I don't necessarily think that that's what we as women think right off the bat, but. A rich man see the future in a, in a woman and we could build them up. But a woman already feels when they got money that they already built up and they wouldn't want to build us up. You feel me? They feel like they're better than us when they have money. You're we're broke, we're all this when they got money, but when it's the other way around, they want us to pay for their bills and help them financially be stable and everything, you know? <laughs> the women couldn't answer the question why why won't rich women date broke men? And sometimes they do. Like I said, the Pookie and Ray Ray thing. But in most cases, Women just like to get the most out of the deal, you know. Pookie and Ray Ray, they know they can control them, you know. But you got to have that Pookie and Ray Ray mentality. Other than that, if you're a broke man with a strong mind, that's a problem, you know. But women just like to have the most out of the deal. They like to get the most out of the deal. They want They measure everything. They always try to make sure that they have the power. They always try to make sure they have the power in every situation. And that's why the women couldn't answer the question because they know those women are controlling and women wants to feel like they're, they want to feel like they're getting more out of the deal. They want to feel like they're draining you. They don't want to feel like they're getting used. They don't mind using you, but they don't want you using them. You know what I'm saying? And if you are using them, they want to know that you're using them, but they're controlling the whole dynamic with the Pookie and Ray Ray thing with that lady. Um, if I can find that video, you see the lady um, was dealing with a Pookie and Ray Ray and she gave him her credit card. And he was taking another girl out and she bought him, you know, the, the clothes he had on was nice. And that was just clothes that, that the girl, you know, the, the lady had bought him. And she told him to take all her stuff off, see her stuff off in the street see as long as they got the power to the give and take they don't have a problem as long as they have the power to give and take they can give you and they can take it all away so basically they want to be your god as long as they can be your god indirectly they'll deal with pookie and ray ray wash his underwear and everything because you her man and you her toy and you her little boy all in one because she controls the dynamics and that will turn a lot of them on if you got that manly man vibe that alpha male vibe they'll deal with you until they get in a position of power and then they'll take the baby position of power is you marry them or get babies by them. that's positions of power well the girl, you know, the woman couldn't answer the question because they rambled and deflected. They deflected and when people, when, when women don't want to answer the question, they deflect it or play victim or want you to focus on, you know, something that'll have nothing to do with what we're talking about. They'll get off topic to avoid and deflect the, the question or the, even when, they, when they're in the wrong. And that's just the way they do. Most of them do that. Most of them can't say, because women's selfish, because we like to be controlled. We like to be in control. Um, men are more big hearted than women. You see what I'm saying? They can't say that. So they rather deflect, play victim, or say, um, let's agree to disagree. Stuff like that. Stuff that they just can't say. I'm wrong. Most of women are wrong. We selfish. We like to be in control and like to get the most out of the deal. Flat truth. Bam. 
I'm Alan Reunier. Much love to you. Um, don't forget to follow the Instagram link in the description box. Follow me on Instagram. There you can message me. Um, you can have a consultation with me. Um, we can do interviews, whatever you want to do. Um, if you want the free consultation, you got to message or you got to call or mess email your local hip hop radio station. Tell them you want to hear the Pookie and Ray Ray anthem song. The Pookie and Ray Ray Rillionaire anthem song. And I'll, and then uh, show me proof that you called or emailed them and we can get a free consultation. Other than that, if you want the full song to the intro, it's in the description box as well. Um, everything you need is in the description box, all right? I'd like to give a shout out to people that's been donating to the page every week. I much love to y'all. Uh, but follow me on the Instagram link in the description box. Uh, newcomers, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And uh, stay prayed up. If you want me to shout out anything, um, message me on Instagram and make a donation. But I got more information for you. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. Much love, I'm out. What's up? This is Alan Reagan there. First of all, I'd like to give a shout out to all the people that's been donating to the page every week. Much love to you. I know you're trying to make the channel grow. Second, I'd like to let you guys know if you got a business or TikTok or Instagram or YouTube page that you want me to promote your business, barbershop, salon, or whatever you're doing, you want me to promote it, um, message me in the Instagram. The Instagram link is in the description box. Um, you can message me, um, make a donation, and let me know what kind of business it is. Um, give me some details so I can explain to the people what you want to promote. Third, I want you guys to um, subscribe to my comedy page and my alternative pages in the description box. Everything is in the description box, so make sure you do that. And if you want a free consultation, um, you message your local hip hop radio station and ask them to play Pookie and Ray Ray really in their anthem by me, AWTR, Alan Williams, the regular. So call your radio station, your hip hop radio station. If you don't have one, I got a list of radio stations in the description box. It can be any hip hop radio station in the world. Uh, just send me proof that you called or emailed them and um, we can have a free consultation to talk about whatever you want to talk about concerning your life, your health, your relationships, your dating situation you're in or whatever. Uh, fourth, um, if you want the song to the intro, you want the full song to the intro, it's in the description box. It's called Alan Williams the Reading. That's the theme song of my existence. So you want the link is in the description box. It's on every platform, Spotify, iTunes, and all that. But I put a link in the description box where you can just grab it and download it from there. Many of you guys have been asking me about that. So you can get the full song that way. And fourth, uh, what else? Don't forget to press like and subscribe and uh and talk to me let me know how you like the page uh instagram me make sure all y'all follow me on instagram uh don't just watch me every day and don't follow me on instagram it's take two seconds to hit the instagram link that's in the description box the link is right there scroll down and don't pass it and you'll see where well, you can follow me on instagram all right much love to y'all stay prayed up in jesus name i'm out Pookie Ray Ray, he Pookie I'm Ray.